All right, guys, so the winner of the 52 degree wedge giveaway is Matthew Says. Matt, thank you for the nice comment and for supporting us on YouTube. Hopefully this wedge helps you out with your game and uh, at least you'll get a little bit of tour sauce with it. And uh, again, guys, we're gonna do a giveaway later on this video, so stick around for that. All right, guys, check out this part of three. Playing straight downhill, 100, about 185 yards to the middle of the green, but with slope, it's playing uh, in the front pin, it's playing about 163, so got a little bit of wind uh, helping us out as well. So it's gonna be a fun one. Mike just went a little bit long on this one. He pulled the seven iron and it's got a little downhill right now. All right, he's got about seven feet left. Oh, oh that broke hard. All right, guys, this is a par five, 532 yards, playing severely downhill, as you can see. The fairway all the way down there. And uh, pretty straight ahead, it looks pretty wide open. Uh, you can miss to the right and to the left, so you can be aggressive on this tee shot. Also, to let you guys know, we're gonna do the tour sauce challenge on this hole. Once we get up closer to the green, we're gonna grab some of those uh, indie golf wedges and see how much spin these guys can put on them. Guys, pulled another drive. Gonna hit a three wood. Got 240 yards left. See if I can get it on the green. Hmm. Hit good, just a little bit to the right. All right, Mike hit a great drive here. Dead center of the fairway, and you're gonna go for it? Yeah, I got 235. I'm just gonna hit a hard rescue and uh, leave it a little bit out to the right, like Rob told me. Everything feeds right to left, so hopefully uh, I can uh, use that hill to my advantage. Hit it up the, along the right side, about 10 feet off the ground, and it was drawn. All right, we're gonna do the tour sauce challenge right now. We're 83 yards, you guys can see the pin over behind me. It's a little bit uphill. Uh, what club are you gonna hit there, Rob? I got a 58 degree. 58 degree yeah. wedge, okay. So, so this is the Stingray, and then the uh, this symbolizes that uh, you can spin it on a full shot over 10,000 RPMs. Wow. So that's what we see consistently in our testing. Okay. Which is a lot of Mike, which one are you going to take? I'm going to take the 58 too. Okay. See if I can put a little extra sauce on it. Perfect. I'm going to run hustle on up there with one of the cameras and uh, we'll see how far you guys can spin it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm on the green. Just to be totally transparent, there is a little bit of a slope from back to front, but still, we're going to see what these guys can do from 83 yards out. All right, here we go. All right, you saw that one spin back. Woo, that was a great shot. All right, that was Rob. Let's see what Mike can do now. It's coming right at me. <laughs> Here's where that landed. And that's where it ended up. You guys can see it way back there. Spun back about 40 feet. That was a ton of spin. So that shot with Mike's wedge, I'm guessing would have spun back maybe four or five feet. Another one right at me. <laughs> oh, you got him. So Rob just spun that one a good 55, 60 feet. He got Mike by a good 10 feet on that. A little knockdown with the spin. This one's going right at it. Oh, almost went in. So he landed that right in front of the pin. You guys saw it, spun it back a good 30 feet. Coming right at me. It's just gonna spin. That was a good one. Spun that back about 50 feet. Get some crazy spin out of these wedges. So you guys can see, they pretty much we're getting on average, I would say about 30 feet of 30 to 40 feet of spin on this. These greens are pretty soft and it is slanted a little bit from back to front, but still that's uh, that is way more than what you would see with a conventional wedge, getting that kind of spin. 
All right, Rob, you win the sauciest challenge for right. today. I am the sauce man. Yeah, about 60 feet of uh, backspin on one of those there bad boys. Yeah. Is that about average for you? Uh, well. <laughs> That's where we're trying to spin it. Might yeah. get some good ones there. He almost dunked it. That was fun to watch. Yep. So I think he'll agree that wedges feel good and spin a lot. So yep. good times. All right, guys. Mike just missed his uh, approach shot over here a little bit short to the right. And as you can see, he's got a pretty big ridge right there to deal with. Just gonna go up high with it. All right, not bad. All right, Marco's got about the same shot as I did. This is just a little bit closer. You should be able to get it in nice and tight. Oh, really good shot. Got some tour sauce on it. Thinking about all that spin. God, I suck. All right guys, so we're on hole number 10. It's 406 yards. Looks like there's not a lot of trash anywhere other than the left side. So looks like we can kind of swing this freely. It's a dogleg left. Everything kind of slopes right to left going that way. All right guys, I got 128 yards. Finally hit the fairway. We're, we're making progress out here. Um, I'm gonna hit a knockdown nine iron. I'm gonna pull one of Mikey's shots here. I got wind straight into me, and uh, there's water short, so I wanna make sure I get this over. Knock down nine. All right, we got the zoom lens for you guys too, so I'll zoom this one in. Right side, looks like it's bunker maybe. What do you got left? I got 123, a little into the wind. I think it's just gonna play like 125. It's a little downhill, so I'm gonna kinda throw it in the middle of the green. Hopefully it spins back a little bit, have a little tour, tour sauce on it. <laughs> Going right at it, a little bit to the left. And a little long. All right, Marco pulled his, but he's okay. He's got a little over the bunker. It's a little bit of green to work with, chip. All right guys, par four, 392 yards, dog leg to the left. You can see the fairway kind of slanting that way, but all the trouble's also on the left-hand side right down here. So, just wanna aim, I'm guessing, right at those right trees up there. Yeah, just like that. All right, got 135 yards, I'm gonna hit a nine iron and uh, see if I can make it on the green. <laughs> it's been a tough day. Okay, good shot, he's on. So Rob was saying that it plays about five to six yards further than what it what it says. I got 122, so probably playing like 128 with a little bit of wind, so I'm just gonna knock down a wedge. Started at right side of the green and drawing back towards the pin. And he should be pretty close. It landed on the green and kicked left. Good shot, dude. Oh, it's pretty good after four three putts in the first 10 holes, huh? I know, let's get a one putt here, <laughs> get one back. We finally hit a green and rag. I'm a little bit long right there. Marco's right below the pin, about 20, 25 feet. All right guys, we're gonna do another giveaway for part two. It's gonna be a 56 degree right hand wedge. Um, again, all you have to do is make sure that you like this video, follow Indie Golf on Twitter and Instagram, and then make sure you leave a comment down below and you'll be entered to win. And uh, good luck to you guys. All right, so we're on hole number 12. It's 207 yards, uh, kind of a crosswind right now. Looks like there's a couple bunkers in the in the back, so, um, and it looks like you can't really miss right or even short, so gotta hit a good one here. in the hazard, I think, or maybe just out. And he's about 20 feet below us. All 
right guys, we're gonna end part two right here. I just want you guys to know, I started doing P90X about six days ago and my body is killing me right now. Mike's laughing, but I'm sore all over. So I'm hitting some just absolutely horrendous shots today. Anyways, not trying to make excuse, but I just want to let you guys know, people have asked in the past if we work out and I'm just starting to get into it. So body's starting to adjust and uh, I'm feeling better, but can't move quite uh, as freely as I was moving out the last couple of weeks. So anyways. He's looking, he's looking good though. I'm feeling good. Definitely. Yeah, he's I'm looking already lean. Four pounds, dude. P90X yeah. works really well. I mean, I've, I've been doing it for like seven years off and on. Anytime the weight starts slipping, I'll just fire it up and start working out and start doing it. And my goodness, what a difference it makes. But you guys should try to, if you're interested in cutting some weight. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're gonna have part two right here and we'll see you back for the next one.